What is going on guys, it's LDC here, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today guys, I'm going to show you how you can get this glitched item in Fortnite, and it really looks like a portal, and so I actually made a portal out of this in Fortnite, and I will also show you guys how you can make the portal yourself. Huge shout out to Physio Ninja for helping me with this, he helped a lot in getting this item available for you guys. Now before this video starts guys, make sure you guys use my supporter credit code LDHDYT in the item shop next time you buy something. And also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss these type of videos. So guys, make sure you guys join my Discord because it's a really nice place for you guys to talk about glitches and find them as well. And you can also submit them and get featured on a video. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video. For this glitch, you want to have a big island loaded in. So what I mean by that is the meadow island, uh, the block, and anything that has like a bigger radius than the other ones. Once you've done that, you want to go to this rift, it has to be this one, and you want to put in the code that will be in the description below. Once you have done this, just enter it. Just wait for it to load in. Make sure you guys make sure you guys put it in that rift, otherwise it does not work. It must be the very left rift. So after you put in the code, you want to go into your island. And my island's like really messed up right because I was trying to do stuff with barriers and stuff. Basically, you should be able to find this item on your island somewhere. As you can see guys, the item is right here. Now literally, it's that easy to get. As you see, it's just on our island after you put in that code in the right rift slot. Say this to your island, you want to select all the pieces in this. So as you see, this is not even one object. This is a bunch of objects combined. And this is actually the floating platform rotated, but you can't actually rotate the floating platform with the glitch anymore. So this is the only way you can get this. Make sure you've selected all the pieces otherwise it's gonna have a missing portion of it if you cut the object you'll be able to see if there's any leftover pieces as you see there isn't so now we can just duplicate this and we can move this to wherever we want on the on our island there we go guys we have this item permanently on our item now and we can always move this and uh yeah it's super cool looking and you can do a lot of builds with this and you will be really confused on how you have this because it's like it's a really cool build if you can you, i mean just looking at this is it's so sick now I'll show you guys how you can actually make a working portal out of this. Alright, to make the portal that I showed at the beginning of this video, what you need to do is go into your inventory and you want to get the trigger device, which is a new device that they, they recently added. And you want to throw this down. Once you've thrown it down, go into the settings of the device, scroll all the way to this setting. You want to switch that to channel 1, so it should look like this, and that's all you have to change. Just get accept, and that's all you have to do. Now, just pick it up with your phone, and you want to resize it so that uh, it's very easily going to be able to be stepped on when you go through the portal. Depth and width of this piece. Just place it so it's not too visible, but you want it so that people run over it when they walk into the portal. Like that. Now, just grab yourself a barrier right here. Basically, you're, this is going to be what's changing. So when you enter the portal, this barrier will activate. So basically, just change the height and depth to whatever you'd like um, for your build. Change the visibility to something that you can see. And then enable it on channel 1 and disable it on channel 2. And you also want to make it disabled on game start. Now, as you see, there's a barrier here. And when you run over that trigger, it's going to uh, enable the barrier. And then when you run over this, which we're going to change to channel 2 on the very last setting, it's going to disable the barrier. So that way you have an in and out portal. And so when you enter the portal, it's going to turn on the barrier, making the visual look different than it was when you were outside the portal. Now, when I first start the game, you have to set it up first. I don't know why it doesn't disable at first. It's kind of a visual glitch, I believe. So basically, to break the visual glitch, you just need to go through the first portal and the second one. As you can see, the barriers have disappeared, and this is good. So basically now, when you enter the first portal, it's going to enable the barrier. And so as soon as you get through, it's going to look like the whole place has changed. And um, this also works with other devices as well, and they're adding more in the future. So you'll be able to do a lot of stuff with this in the future. And then you can make a second portal to leave, and then when you touch this one, it's going to disable it. So that way, it looks like you've traveled through a portal, which is super cool. That is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is a really cool um, trick that you guys can use. And thanks again to Physio, Physio Ninja for helping with me with this. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. And turn on, use my supporter credit code as well if you'd like to support me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.